BGT is fake. No, God, please, no, no! It is set up, it's all preordained, and it's not fair. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Hi guys, Mark Spellman here. As you know, Britain's Got Talent, the final was on, and your winner was crowned as Simon Cowell's golden buzzer, Axel Blake. Axel Blake! So first of all, huge congratulations to Axel Blake on a really consistent and funny three set performance. I'm gonna have to go ahead and sort of disagree with you there. I say your winner, but everyone has a different perspective. I had someone else winning the show. Are you crazy? And I will tell you at the end of this video who it is. Wow. Some of the social media comments though today have been things like, it's not fair. He's on Amazon Prime. Good. Now look, you know that a lot of people said, hang on a minute, you had a show on Amazon, I believe it was. Are you mad? <laughs> it looks like, oh my gosh, it's Amazon Prime, but if they saw the back end, it didn't look like that financially. Yeah. <laughs> you completely lost your mind. So it wasn't for Amazon Prime. Oh, I see. Yeah, I didn't know they was gonna pick it up. He's already an established comedian. He's been at the O2. So it's, it just goes to show you that BGT is fake. No, God, please, no, no! It is set up, it's all preordained, and it's not fair. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Other comments have been, he's a professional. I'm a professional. This is BGT should only be about people that have got other jobs that want that moment to shine. Here's the problem with that. If you had only amateur acts on Britain's Got Talent, the large majority of the show would look like this. I just think Joe Kawasaki and won't baby There are exceptions to the rule. Calm down. Obviously, the greatest amateur act, I think, is Susan Boyles. I dreamed the dream and time gone by. I was already an established magician before I entered the show in 2018. Of course, there have been some incredible highlights to my career, but the fact of the matter is, is that once you finish those performances, you go back to the daily grind. And Axel Blake, he fits kitchens. If you need a kitchen done, Simon, let me know. Let me... I do, actually, <laughs> Axel. The comedy is the icing on the cake. Britain's Got Talent needs to have professionals and semi-professionals. It actually doesn't matter. So not everyone will be happy with whoever wins the show. If I won the show in 2019, there would have been so many people that really thought Colin should have won. If Lauren Allred would have won, there would have been so many people that would have said, I really wish that Axel Blake had won, or Tom Ball, or Maxwell. But the question is, who did I have down for the win? I had a real soft spot for Maxwell Thorpe. I thought he was gonna win it because he's been busking for 10 years, non-professional, with a voice like that. I mean, it is like incredible. I thought he had it. I thought he was 100% in the top three. Every single act was strong. And it shows you why they were all worthy to be in the final. But equally, I have to say that Axel Blake is my kind of funny. And I've been brought up on comedy. I was raised listening to people like the late, great Richard Pryor, Eddie Murphy, Billy Connolly. I do love observational stand-up comedy. So Axel Blake was super. Whoever you voted for, whoever you wanted to win, find their social media handles and show them some love. It's such a high pressured thing to be on. And then at the end of it all, it stops. Winner is crowned and you all go home.
and it is a weird place to be after those highs and that intensity of the semi-finals and the finals. So find your favorite who you wanted to win and send them some love. And I'm sending my love to you. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you very soon. Lots of love, take care.